I live in uh, Queens in New York. I was there the whole pandemic. And in the beginning, it was the epicenter. People were like, don't go to the hospital for anything but COVID. A couple of years ago, my hair started thinning, so my doctor gave me Propecia, um, but she was like, a side effect of Propecia could be impotence. So she gave me Viagra, which I never <laughs> took. But then two weeks into quarantine, my girlfriend's like, take a Viagra. Uh, I'm sick of puzzles. Let's just rock and roll here. <laughs> so I took one, forgetting it's a pill for a 93-year-old struggling with impotence. Not a 39-year-old sexual phenomenon. <laughs> so I took one, I finished, I still have an erection. I'm like, this has not happened in 11 years. My girlfriend's like, I can't go again. I was like, medically, I think we have to. Uh, Dr. Fauci's orders. The CDC recommends. So, we have sex again. I finish, I still have an erection. I'm on WebMD, like, should I be concerned? My girlfriend goes, just sleep it off. I was like, I don't think it's that kind of injury, but I like where your head's at. So I go to sleep, I wake up, I still have an erection. At that point, it was like a horror movie. I was like, how is the doll back in the cabinet? I threw her out. <laughs> 24 hours, I had a non-stop erection living in the epicenter, thinking I have to go to the hospital and not with the coronavirus. Showing up to the ER, nurse is like, do you have COVID? And I'm like, worse. I have a boner that will not quit. So where is my ward exactly? It did go away. The power of prayer. And, uh, dry ice and... Lots of tape.